I like the fact that they can make their own music and make it their own instruments rather than having to have teams of writers do it for them. I like it that they're usually bands and they actually play their own instruments, usually write their songs, like produce their songs, and I like that they usually play guitar. Mainly the strong narratives and the different bands, for instance, Nirvana is a personal favourite of mine and I like that sort of thing. Um, probably someone like the Killers because they actually get into the charts and they're actually on the radio but they've got more like sort of mainstream like quite a lot of the bands are quite rude and that's so they can't be on the radio in the day. The most successful is probably Green Day. I mean if you look at them they've had success ever since what was it 1989? Definitely Levana without a doubt. Yeah. Most of them are in an urban environment so it's it's really relatable. Quite a lot, probably a lot of like strobe light and a lot of like shots of the instrument. Uh, most of the music videos I've seen have got like a kind of a weird sort of aspects to them. Things they do with the camera, they change colours, like opposite colours and things like that and they're quite like deluded and sometimes a bit psychotic. It's more than like narrative, a lot of like close up singing shots and things like that really. A lot of harsh lighting. My favourite at the moment is probably Foo Fighters. They show something different which loads of alternative bands didn't have. They bring a new edge to um, alternative rock music. Probably someone like Nirvana because they're like the classic. Generally just a great band but also the way they do their videos is just, um, it's more about a journey. Especially, like I said, along with the narrative it creates more of a journey. And the different ways they do that with colour and editing is just great. I would like to see the band actually performing a narrative themselves instead of having actors do it. Again, probably more narrative because I just haven't. I, uh, there is a lot of narrative, but a bit of a stronger narrative coming through. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Yeah, probably just to um, keep up with sort of the times because quite a lot of them are quite dated now. There's not a lot modern ones, so if you sort of want to keep up with the target audience being young, you'd have to keep it sort of modern to keep them interested. Uh, yeah, I think they should. Uh, they should just continue with it as they go along.